I'm Danielle Bean, author of Momnipotent, a book and parish-based study focused on uniquely feminine gifts and strengths. God gives all women the grace they need to love and serve their families, communities, and the church in unique and important ways. Today we're talking about the feminine strength of sensitivity and the ways in which feminine compassion can give voice to the voiceless and make others feel uniquely known and loved. The day my oldest daughter had a medical checkup without me was an emotional one. Not only because I realized she was growing up and no longer needed me to accompany her in the exam room, but because of something I witnessed while I sat in the waiting room. A man entered the office with two boys, one a preteen and the other about four years old. The man wore baggy jeans and a greasy baseball cap. He sat gruffly in a chair and motioned for the smaller boy to play with the toys while the preteen stood awkwardly by his side. And then, while I sat across from him pretending to do something on my phone, the man verbally abused both children. He called them names and made threats. He embarrassed the older child by talking loudly about the boy's physical and mental weaknesses. He told the younger child that he could throw him away and no one would even miss him. There seemed to be no limit to the horrible things this man would say to these children in my presence. I sat frozen. There were no other adults in the waiting room and I simply could not believe what I was witnessing. I sat stupidly through the entire scene until at last a nurse entered, called their names, and the three of them left the room. My heart was breaking. I knew I had to do something, but I wasn't sure what. A few moments later, when my daughter exited the exam room, I asked her to wait in the car while I spoke to the doctor, a woman we have known and trusted for years. Finally, alone with the doctor, I described the scene that I had witnessed and I broke down sobbing. Through uncontrolled tears, I told her what the man had said and done. The doctor's own eyes filled with tears as she listened. She assured me that she was seeing those patients next and that she would do what she could to assess the situation and intervene if necessary. I told her she had the hardest job in the world and then exited the office quickly a hot mess of tears. Truly, I think all of us women have the hardest job in the world. We witness the suffering of others, we feel it ourselves, and sometimes we are the only voice that cries out for justice. There is courage, strength, and healing in our tears. We sometimes think of emotions as signs of weakness, but how can being in touch with our emotions be a source of strength in our relationships? Think of a time when a woman's sensitivity toward you touched your heart. What did she say or do that was important to you in that moment? And how can we all practice being that kind of gift to others in our lives? To find out more about Momnipotent and how you can bring the discussion of important topics like these to the women of your parish, visit momnipotentstudy.com.